Hey, good afternoon, folks. It's Todd and Mike from Snyder's Hives and Honey. We're down in Melbourne, Florida today. We're going to be removing bees from a camper. Uh, we got bees going in and out where the power cord goes in. Uh, we're going to get these girls from the inside. So uh, I was here yesterday. It was a miserable day in Florida yesterday where we are. It was raining, cold, but uh, it's about 70 degrees out now, full sun. So these girls are very uh, active and happy to be out flying around today. So uh, we'll take some video as we go along here, but uh, we'll show you here where they're going in and out, and then we'll uh, attack them from the inside. All right, so this is where they're going in and out of. You can see right there, there's uh, it's kind of like a, a hole in the side of the camper there. It's got a rubber gasket on it. Well, they found a way to get through that. And what they're doing is they're uh, going in and out and they're on the inside and we'll take some pictures from the inside but these girls are bringing back a lot of pollen they're bringing back uh, yellow and orange pollen so uh, there's a lot blooming right now not a lot of nectar out there for them for making honey but definitely a lot of pollen so that's a good thing because these girls use pollen to make more bees they make that royal jelly from the pollen so uh, we'll take some videos as we go along and uh, hope you enjoy watching these Okay, folks, so we're inside this camper now, and you can see there's a couple bees crawling on the wall there. Well, we're going to open up this little area here. It's like uh, like a chase inside the uh, camper here, and uh, looks like there's a bunch of dead bees laying on the floor in here over a period of time. And uh, we're going to open this up, vacuum these girls up, and uh, attack it from the inside. So, but uh, hopefully we'll find the queen get these girls out of here we'll take more videos as we go along folks Thank him. you want me to open the vacuum up a little bit no I like the section it's got right now it's good you have a long hose on it. So. It's like a mud. You got a bucket for honey? Okay. You ready? Alright folks, so we got this one opened up. Nice colony of bees in here. Um, I've started to take a little bit of comb out of here just because there was a lot of bees hanging on that. But this is all brood over here, so we're going to be looking for that queen. Uh, it's a good sized colony. Um, this is honey on this side, and uh, this is brood. And again, no veil. These girls are very calm. Yeah, I got my suit on, but uh, I opened this up, and these girls are just basically just concentrating on what they're doing and that's making honey and making bees so they're doing really good not bothering me one bit so we'll take some more as we go along here hopefully we'll find the queen today all right all right folks so we are uh vacuuming this honey up and or vacuuming the bees up rather and uh there's some honey in this hive so we're uh cutting it out as we go along this section over here is all honey but over here, there's a little bit of honey there, but this is all the brood over here. So uh, we're going to be looking for that queen, but I'm going to try and get this honey out of here first, and then we'll attack the brood. So uh, just giving you a little update here as we're going along. Still haven't found that queen, but we're looking for her. But this is a nice little calm colony. Boy, they're really calm. They're just focusing on what they're doing. Alright folks, we're still vacuuming up bees here. We're still looking for the queen. There was a lot of brood in here. And a good amount of honey for this time of year. So, uh, yeah, and it's kind of tight quarters here for me. I'm a big guy. 
and uh, laying on my side, my head's bent back, trying to get into this little area here against the wall, but I'm looking for her. They're hoping to find her, get her caged. If not, we'll vacuum her up. I'm getting all these bees. They're not one getting away. Still got a lot of bees to get up here. Running into some drone comb here. in there I want to see her Some more comb here. Cut this out. Okay, folks, we got this one all wrapped up. Uh, we got it all cleaned out in there. I do have the vacuum going through that hole right there. That's where the bees were coming in. The reason why I have it there is because there's a lot of foragers coming back, so they're coming to that uh, opening that they're used to going through to come into their hive, and they're getting sucked up into that hose, which is connected to our bee vacuum. So I'll go outside here in a minute and I'll show you where they're coming in and how we're sucking up some of the foragers. But we're going to uh, wrap this up here shortly. Uh, I did not see the queen. Doesn't mean we didn't vacuum her up. I'm pretty sure we do have her though because the vacuum uh, outside is just basically covered with bees. That's a good sign. Um, usually the uh, queen when she's in the uh, box that we vacuum them up into uh, gives off that pheromone and they can smell it. So these bees... Uh, are uh, kind of hanging out on the vacuum and I'll show that to you so uh, but this one here is uh, all done on the inside we'll clean up a little bit more here and then we'll be done so this is what we're doing this right here is our vacuum line and you can see as the bees land they're getting sucked up in there um, the foragers are coming back and uh, we're gathering those up we'll stay here for a little bit and gather up some more bees um, but uh, we're not going to stay here and gather all the foragers We'll just uh, get get these that are in here and get them to uh, go in that tube into the vacuum box, take them with the rest of the bees. So uh, we enjoy making these videos for you. We enjoy doing bee removals. This is something that we like doing, saving the bees so people don't have these bees destroyed and, and uh, have to deal with the mess of the, all the comb and everything in there. We do have a video on YouTube and Facebook of why you should always remove the bees um, and not kill them. Um, it shows the uh, comb and all the nasty stuff that happens inside of a wall. So uh, if you like these videos, please hit like and subscribe. Follow us on uh, YouTube. If you do, then uh, you'll get uh, notifications every time we post a video. So, uh, and if you like it on Facebook, please share with your friends. 
Um, a lot of people like to see this stuff and uh, you can kind of see right on the bee's face there, that one right there. She's been out collecting pollen. She's got it all over her nose and all over her face. So uh, these girls have been busy collecting pollen. I'm going to back up there because you'll see a lot of them start to come in now because I was in front of their flight path. Anyhow, as always, be happy.